that you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Welcome to a world where reality and illusion intertwine. A world where the boundaries of what we perceive as real may not be as clear-cut as we once thought. Have you ever questioned the reality around you? What if I told you that our world might not be what it seems? In recent years, the concept of simulated reality and the simulation hypothesis has emerged as a captivating topic of speculation and discussion. Inspired by the popular movie, The Matrix, the idea that our world could be a computer-generated simulation has gained traction among scientists, philosophers, and theorists alike. Even prominent figures like Elon Musk and Neil deGrasse Tyson have publicly pondered the possibility of our existence being a simulated reality. But what exactly is the simulation hypothesis? At its core, the simulation hypothesis proposes that our reality, including the physical universe and everything in it, is a complex computer-generated simulation akin to a virtual reality experience created by a highly advanced civilization or even a higher power. The implications of the simulation hypothesis are mind-bending. It challenges our perception of reality, raises profound questions about the nature of existence, and invites us to question the very fabric of our reality. Join us as we delve into this fascinating topic and explore the possibilities of a simulated world hiding beneath our perceptions. Are we living in a computer-generated simulation? Could our world be a complex illusion created by a higher civilization or a powerful entity? Join us on this journey of discovery as we explore the mysteries of the simulation hypothesis and venture into the unknown realms of reality. This was a real-life story of Mark, who experienced a glitch in simulation. So, it all started one night when I was walking back home from work. It was late, and the streets were deserted. Suddenly, I noticed something bizarre. The world around me seemed to glitch, like a computer screen freezing for a split second. I was puzzled, but I brushed it off as tiredness or my imagination playing tricks on me. But then, it happened again. This time, it wasn't just a glitch. I saw a passerby walking in reverse as if someone had hit the rewind button on reality. I was utterly baffled and couldn't wrap my head around what was happening. It was like a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie. I looked around, and everything seemed off. The street lights flickered, and the shadows appeared distorted, as if they were pixelated. I started questioning my sanity. Was I losing my mind, or was this some kind of glitch in the simulation? It felt like I was trapped in a virtual reality gone haywire. I pinched myself to make sure I wasn't dreaming and I was definitely awake. I tried to rationalize it thinking it could be a technical glitch in some augmented reality app or a prank. But deep down, I couldn't shake off the eerie feeling that I was witnessing the fabric of reality unraveling right in front of my eyes. In a state of panic, I rushed home and grabbed my laptop. I started researching the phenomenon online, and that's when I stumbled upon the simulation hypothesis, the idea that our reality could be a computer-generated simulation, just like in Matrix. The Matrix is a simulated reality, a computer-generated simulation that humans are plugged into, as depicted in the popular science fiction movie, The Matrix. But this concept has deeper philosophical roots that trace back to Descartes' evil demon and Plato's allegory of the cave. Let's unpack the origin of the Matrix concept and explore its philosophical significance. Descartes' evil demon is a philosophical hypothesis that suggests that an evil demon could be deceiving us and manipulating our senses, making us perceive a false reality. Similarly, 
Plato's allegory of the cave illustrates a scenario where prisoners are chained in a cave and can only perceive shadows of reality, mistaking them for the truth. These philosophical ideas challenge the nature of reality and question our perception of the world around us. The Matrix has several characteristics that make it a fascinating concept to explore. Firstly, it creates an illusion of free will, where humans believe they are making choices, but in reality, their choices are predetermined. Secondly, the limitations of the senses are exploited, as humans can only perceive what the simulation allows them to. This challenges the idea of objective reality and raises questions about the nature of perception. Furthermore, the Matrix is highly manipulative, as the simulation can alter the perception of reality, creating false memories and experiences. This manipulative nature of the Matrix raises questions about the reliability of our memories and the validity of our experiences. The Simulation Hypothesis Theory Is it possible that our reality is nothing but a computer-generated simulation created by advanced civilizations? Let's find out. The Simulation Hypothesis Theory suggests that our reality, including the universe and everything in it, might be a simulated construct created by highly advanced civilizations, similar to a computer-generated simulation. This idea has been the subject of much debate and speculation, from ancient philosophical ideas to modern scientific and technological advancements. Let's explore the history of the simulation hypothesis theory and its supporting arguments. The concept of our reality being a simulation is not new. Ancient philosophers such as Plato and Hindu thinkers proposed the idea of our world being an illusion or a dream. However, in recent times, with the rapid progression of technology and our understanding of the universe, the simulation hypothesis theory has gained renewed attention. There are several arguments and evidence that support the simulation hypothesis theory. Firstly, the rapid progression of technology, particularly in the field of virtual reality and artificial intelligence, has made it plausible that advanced civilizations could create a simulation indistinguishable from reality. If we can create realistic virtual worlds, it's not far-fetched to imagine that a more advanced civilization could create an entire simulated universe. Secondly, the mathematical nature of the universe is often cited as evidence for the simulation hypothesis theory. Many scientists and physicists argue that the laws of physics and the fundamental constants of the universe are precisely fine-tuned, almost as if they were programmed. This has led to the idea that our universe follows a set of mathematical algorithms similar to a computer program. Thirdly, the limitations of human perception raise questions about the nature of reality. Our senses are limited and can be easily deceived, as demonstrated by optical illusions and other sensory tricks. This leads to the possibility that what we perceive as reality might be an illusion created by a simulated construct. As with any theory, the simulation hypothesis has faced criticism and skepticism. Some scientists argue that the limitations of our current scientific methods make it impossible to prove or disprove the theory definitively. Others argue that the philosophical and ethical implications of a simulated reality raise questions about the nature of existence, free will, and morality. Furthermore, some critics argue that if our reality is indeed a simulation, it would not have any practical implications for our everyday lives. As we perceive and experience our reality as real, the simulated nature of it, if true, would not change our day-to-day -day interactions and experiences. The simulation hypothesis theory is a fascinating concept that challenges our perception of reality and has been the subject of much debate and speculation. While there are arguments and evidence in support of the theory, there are also counter-arguments and skepticism. Whether our reality is a simulated construct or not is still an open question, but it invites us to ponder the nature of existence and our place in the universe. The Matrix a groundbreaking movie that captivated audiences with its mind-bending plot and visual effects raises profound philosophical questions about the nature of reality, free will, and existence. 
It challenges our fundamental beliefs and leaves us wondering if our perception of the world is an illusion. The Matrix forces us to confront the possibility that our reality might not be what it seems. The simulation hypothesis theory suggests that our universe might be a computer-generated simulation, just like the simulated world in the Matrix. This idea, proposed by philosophers like Nick Bostrom, has sparked intense philosophical debates and has profound implications for our understanding of reality. One of the most significant philosophical implications of the Matrix is the challenge it poses to our perception of free will. If our reality is a simulation, do we truly have free will? Or are our choices predetermined by the simulation's programming? This raises questions about the nature of agency and personal responsibility. The Matrix also challenges our understanding of existence. If our reality is simulated, what does it mean to exist? Are we just lines of code in a computer program? Or do we have an inherent, independent existence? This has profound implications for our understanding of consciousness and the nature of reality. Living in a simulated reality also raises ethical implications. If our actions in the simulation have no real consequences, does morality still matter? What is the basis for our ethical decisions? The Matrix raises questions about the foundations of morality and challenges our understanding of right and wrong. Let's now explore various philosophical debates and perspectives on the Matrix and the simulation hypothesis theory. Idealism, which suggests that reality is fundamentally and subjective, finds resonance in the idea of a simulated reality. Solipsism, which posits that only one's mind is certain to exist, challenges our perception of reality in the Matrix. Existentialism, which emphasizes the individual's freedom and responsibility, raises questions about agency and purpose in a simulated world. As we ponder the philosophical implications of the Matrix and the simulation hypothesis theory, we are confronted with profound questions about the nature of reality, free will, morality, identity, and purpose. These questions challenge our fundamental beliefs and force us to critically examine our understanding of the world. So, are we living in a simulation? The answer remains elusive, but the philosophical implications of the Matrix undoubtedly provoke us to question our reality and explore the depths of human existence. So, I have a question for you. Watching this video is your own decision, or you are being controlled by Matrix. Comment your answer below. And this is how this video gets to the end. If you truly gained any knowledge on simulation theory, consider subscribing our YouTube channel and also share to your friends so that they would know that we are living in a matrix. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.